Hello and welcome to the Vintage Equation, the program where I show you all the vintage treasures that I found to flip for a profit. Profit for me, goodies for you! And today we have a pure goodies galore. But before we start, let's look at the mug of the day. The mug of the day is this handcrafted pottery mug, beautifully glazed, made by a Polish artist. I bought it in Poland in a Polish gallery. I have four in different colors. Inside there is this extremely unknown to me product. I bought it today in Chinese shop. Coffee milk tea. It's a combination of coffee and milk. Tastes like coffee, more like coffee, sweet coffee, very sweet coffee. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you, I'm keeping. I'm keeping for now, maybe forever, maybe I will sell it eventually, but it doesn't have any particular big value. Hand-painted figurine of a cat made by Dalton Scotland. The twist to the figurine is fact that it's not a figurine, it is a buzz. As you can see, the whole cat's brain has been taken out just for your pleasure, so you can put flowers inside. This brainless creature I'm keeping for now. To stay on the vast topic, I will show you this one. Very 80s ceramic bow, which is a wall pocket. This unusual piece of kitsch is made by Redacta London. It is in perfect condition, very 80s, very unique. It will look very good if you have dark walls. Imagine navy blue wall and this. Dark blue wall and this. Burgundy red wall and this. Exposed brick wall and this. Your wall and this perfect for your home. This classic Blue Mountain Pottery Bear is with me for a good few months and the reason that it's here is I cannot take good photos of it. It's so shiny, it's so glossy that the camera doesn't make it justice. It is a good size piece and the funny thing it has a drip of glaze on its paw. Looks wounded. <gasps> Also, there's something rattles inside. Probably fell through his paw. Oh, here it is. Whoop, here it is. Whoop, here it is. The glaze here looks like it's fair. After shower, after combing, after putting conditioner on, just a perfect shape of hair. No fleas, no parasites. Extraordinary specimen. <gasps> Maybe he was dipping his paw in tea. That's why he has a drip. Naughty. Naughty can be also your friends when you won't feed them properly. Fat friends equal happy friends. What will fill up better your friends than a different selection of snacks? Different selections equals a lot of bowls. And today I'm going to offer you a lot of bowls. Six wooden snack little bowls just for you and your naughty friends. Perfect size for nuts, little nibbles. Fun fact, when I first time came to UK and heard the word nibble, I thought they say nipple. And for a very long time I was referring to snacks nipples. Depending how close you are with your friends, you can also feed them nipples with them. But for some reason I think they will appreciate nibbles more. Sign DG Wheeler, running children. But the coolest part of it is that you can remove the sun bleached background and that you will be left with this pretty cool artwork. They are printed on this plexi foil and look really nice on the white background. Or use provided original. The second picture is completely sun bleached. But if you do like this, it looks more like 3D. Pretty cool. It's sign DG Wheeler. I couldn't find any info about DG, but the frames that this picture came in were made in USA. So I presume DG is an American artist. They remind me of fresher art. And because I love his art so much, I also loved these by DG Wheeler. Creativity was definitely in the mind of the artist who blow this koala. Blown glass paperweight koala made by Imon Vereker, Australia. It does have optic swirls inside, cute little nose, pinched little ears, relatively heavy, will look great on your window holding your papers, maybe even toilet papers. This one I'm toying with the idea of keeping, but I'm not sure because the color is not what I need. I need orange. This is red. Red, beautiful, striking cut with blue eyes, made in Germany, ceramic, fully working, tested. I know this company also make cuts in black. Black would be better for me, so maybe I will sell this and just look for black. But I know that you need a red clock in your kitchen. Your kitchen need this one splash of color and make this color be red. Buy this cut and make your kitchen happy, 70s, vibrant, fiery, 
hot meowing unique place where you cook and sip wine while listening to cat ticking. Now please let's focus on these beautiful, even stunning lucite candlesticks. They must be silver plated and for cleaning you can do this. Both top and bottom are screwable. Both lucite twisted sticks are very good condition. The scratches are very minor. Mostly you can see them only when you look on the light, through the light, by the light, light through them, shining, scratches then visible. They do look like glass, they look expensive, definitely something that you can find in my shop less often. Usually I have tat, usually I have kitsch, but these, they are classy, they are just like you. If you think that these candlesticks are too stylish for you, I can offer you more casual example of candlestick candle holder. Huge wooden, more like a boho earthy style. This monster, it's all made of wood, here with more one natural patch. This one will look also very good outside on your patio with some anti-mosquito candle. You can make barbecue and the candle will repel all the insects. Perfect combo. And now this one. This one I'm keeping. This is a very good size, not too big dog. They are known as border terriers. They are very common, but this particular one is very well behaved. The brain is not too big, but big enough to understand things. He's a perfect dog. He's a perfect friend. I'm not getting rid of him. I just wanted to show you. Edgar? Oh, yes, my boy. Yes, we're so happy. We're so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you so kind. And now let's look at these two pictures. Native American art. They are both signed. This one has a date 1987. This one is less readable. They look like stamped on paper. The picture is raised. Here the little people are painted gold and here the eagle has golden eye. 1987 and unknown date. Woohoo! Almost in every episode there's an owl. Today's owl is made of brass. The shape of an owl looks a little bit like a heart, which makes it even more sweet. It is a small ring dish. Perfect. It looks a little bit worn, it has patina, but I think this effect might be on purpose. Imagine this by your bedside table, imagine it in a kitchen by the sink, or maybe some incense burners. Always with this face, like, remember the neck. We have only two things left, and these two things are one of the best that I found recently. First is huge, second is designer. Let's start from huge. We like huge. Although shipping this terrifies me and I don't know what to do with it, how to ship, and I will have a big dilemma and a huge stress if someone will buy it. This is a massive genie bottle. From the very top to the bottom, 58 centimeters. The stopper itself looks so huge that it could be a topper on your Christmas tree. 29 centimeters for stopper! It's beautiful color, a little bit blue, a little bit teal, depends on the light. The shape of the bottle looks like from the scientist laboratory. It will look great on the Halloween, but with a stopper will look great the whole year round. The best thing is I paid only seven pounds for it. And not the best thing is that the woman in the shop really didn't want to pack it. She did a horrible job exposing the whole tip. But it is in perfect condition, nothing happened to it, so maybe the lady in the shop knew what she was doing. And the last thing, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, and when I saw it I knew exactly what it is. I don't know exactly how to pronounce the name of the artist though, but let's call him Pierre Girardon and his Lucite Bulb. This is a beautiful op art piece and the best thing, the best of the best of the best things today, it does glow in UV light, but the glow stays that's so cool this is a proper shocker i'm in shock this is a proper shock you see it glows shocked face i'm very happy with it na 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 i'm happy with it it is unusual it is unique it is in the vintage equation shop and that's it coffee milk tea is gone it was very sweet a little bit too sweet but tasty smash the like button hit subscribe that does help to develop the channel and bring you more stuff we'll gather here next time in the new fascinating amazing and extremely unusual as usual video unusual as usual take care bye bye
Cheerio!